Good morning, everybody. It is March 19th, day four of distance learning, and we are um, wrapping up our notes on the Renaissance and continuing to read Romeo and Juliet today. Yes, so we should be picking up where we left off from yesterday. Uh, we're with Act 1, Scenes 3 through 5. We'll meet Juliet today. Ooh. Um, so yeah, make sure that you find the discussion board post and do answer um, that kind of overall question for this section of the play. Um, we're changing the directions around a little bit. Be sure that you observe those directions as you go to the prompt. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Yeah, so make sure that you're writing three to five sentences, or five to seven sentences, excuse me, for your first discussion board post. And then you need to reply to two of your peers. A lot of you guys did a really good job yesterday um, creating the initial response, but then you didn't reply to any of your peers. And the whole point is to have it be a discussion um, going back and forth. Um, the other thing to keep in mind here is um, make sure that you're using evidence from the text. Um, so a lot of these questions are, are dependent upon you really reading those, um, the text very carefully and then using that text to answer. Um, you do have a quizzes for, um, SOL review for ancient river valleys, uh, specifically Persia, India, and China. And then you should continue working on your Renaissance notes. Those are not due until tomorrow. Um, and I do want to remind you of the Medieval Europe quiz alternative assignment that's going to be open for you to do. I've only had one um, submission so far. So if you are concerned about that Medieval Europe quiz, make sure that you're doing that alternative assignment um, as well. Um, something else to note, I know a lot of you guys were asking about your IX yesterday. I did grade all the IX last night. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> so those grades are in. Um, quite a few of you I know who did IX but did not turn them into Unified Classroom. So do make sure that you double check uh, your grades and see if you turned it in IAC. There were some surprising omissions there. Um, I'll still be happy to grade them. I know you did them. Do make sure that you hand them in through UC, please. And as always, if you have anything um, in mind, let us know. We're happy to answer all of your questions and kind of be here for you. Um, let us know what you're up to. We are hoping that you guys are staying safe at home. Oh, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.